Hello everyone, this is Pastor Lon. I want to welcome you all back to the channel today for some Sunday afternoon chat time. Hope you've all had a good week, a good weekend, enjoying this Sunday afternoon, and hope you have a good upcoming week, and I pray that you and your family are blessed beyond measure. The topic I wanted to mention to you today or talk about briefly is uh, the word prosperity. You know, many people look at prosperity. I got a definition for prosperity. Most people look at that from a financial standpoint, unfortunately. The condition, the condition of being successful or thriving, especially uh, economically or um, economically well off, meaning money. So many people may, may define prosperity in their mind that way, but I don't. And I want you to share with me what you feel like prosperity is. See, many people today, they, they don't realize there's a lot of deceptions in prosperity. It's just like a prosperity gospel is preached. There are a lot of people that preach uh, prosperity that you can bargain with God. And if you do this, God, you, you know, you'll get, you'll receive $10,000 or $100,000, all these TV evangelists on this few and lies. Um, and a lot of people even on the internet, that's not what prosperity, Jesus Christ will bless you whether you got two red cents to rub together or not. If you just give your life to him and give your, all of your allegiance to him. But again, this is not a devotion. But this is the topic, talk about the topic of prosperity. So to me, prosperity looks like, to me, it looks like when, you know, you've been blessed beyond measure. God has changed your direction in life. You're a man of character or a woman of character, a godly character. You're a woman of, or a man of, of uh, integrity. You're a truthful person. You're a compassionate person. You love people. You want to see other people prosper in the right way. Um, and if you got the means to help somebody, you don't mind helping somebody in need. Um, there's a lot of people today that look at prosperity, I think, from a wrong angle. Just like a lot of people think they prospered when they climbed the corporate ladder in an organization, but they stepped on everybody and the mama to get to where they are. That's not prosperity to me. That's greed. That's selfishness. And there's a lot of people that have climbed the corporate ladder the right way. To God be the glory, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad for them. But most people today look at prosperity as finances, money, or the bigger, the bigger the house, the more prosperous they think they become. The more cars they have, however many rings they have on each finger. I mean, the clothes that they wear. There's so many things today that people define prosperity. But I think prosperity goes back to the person we become, to the character, integrity that we have in our, in our being. I think that's a really prosperous person. Someone that even, and there are a lot of people that are well, more well off than others. If you don't forget where you came from, my granddaddy told me that a long time ago. said, Lon, no matter how, how, how good you get it in life, don't ever forget where you came from. And I've, I've always been that way. I keep ringing that over in my mind. I take that to heart very seriously. I know where I came from and I know where I want to stay and I know who I belong to. So I think prosperity means you use what God's given you as he's changed you into the man or the woman he wants you to be. And you have that giving heart. You have that, that you, you're good to your word. That, that's, that's rare these days to find somebody that'll stick with their word. They tell you something, they mean it. And they mean what they say and they say what they mean. I think that's a prosperous person. When you can... When you can live a life where people, if people to say anything negative about you, it'd be a lie. When they were to say spew lies about you in the community, you live a, a life of integrity and character that nobody would believe it because they know who you really are. I think that is really, you have really climbed a successful ladder in life. Even if you don't have but $50 in the bank, if you got, that kind of reputation in your community and in your church and in your family and whether it be on social media, wherever it may be, if you've got that kind of integrity, you, you are a successful person. That is prosperity to me. You see, there's a lot of people that are rich monetarily, but they don't, they don't help. They can't help other people because they won't relinquish any of that. They are holding on that almighty dollar. It's kind of like I've shared before in a sermon. You might as well let those things go now and share them with other people, the things that you can share. Don't get me wrong. Take care of your family. Take care of your family first. But there's nothing in the world wrong. It's biblical to help other people in need, especially those that are in need. 
Because one day we're going to leave all this stuff behind that people define as being living a prosperous life. The house that we live in, the car that we drive, and the clothes that we wear, and the money that's in the bank, all that stuff's going to be left behind. So I don't think that is a true measure or true definition of prosperity in a person's life. I think true prosperity comes from becoming the person that you are in a good way, that loves your neighbor as yourself, do unto others you'd have them do unto you, and look at things through the eyes of Christ. You know, I, I try to do these Sunday, Sunday afternoon chats just to be chat time, and some of it is, but it's hard for me not to tie the Bible into what I talk about about all the time. I just can't help it. That's just something that's in me, and I thank God for that, um, that desire he's given me to share the gospel. But at the same time, I try to talk to people sometimes without bringing that into play. It's just hard to do. But I think when you have become that person that is willing to help others in need, you're not greedy, you're not selfish, you've cleaned up a lot of things in your life or have allowed God to clean them up in your life, I think that is really a good definition and a true look at prosperity. You're not the old person you used to be. You're a new person, new creature in Christ. See there? Keep going back to the Bible. I can't help it. But there's a lot, lots of people out there that I think they haven't uh, been successful because they don't have a lot of money in the bank. But uh, trust me, that is not the true meaning or definition of prosperity. Prosperity is well off with love, mercy, and grace and having a tender heart. And, a, and willing to help others in need, willing to give, expecting nothing in return, willing to help those people that don't have anything to help you back with. I think you've really climbed the successful ladder in life if you become that person to not be selfish, not be greedy, and not forget where you come from. So it's going to be short today. I just wanted to share my thoughts and then get you to Leave in the comments below what your definition is of prosperity. Do you agree with all of what I said, some of what I said, or none of what I said? I want to know. So just let me know in the comments below what you feel like prosperity is to you. But I've shared with you what I think it is to me. And um, But those people that have you know, made plenty of money, they've earned it, they've, they've started a business, or have had the business handed down to them, and they've done everything the right way, um, that's great. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for those people. But there are a lot of people out there, like I said, that have done things the wrong way and all they worried about was the money and they think they are, they think they are living in a prosperous life when really they're missing out on the best things in life. That's when you're able to help your neighbor and love on people and let them feel that they're needed and share what God's given you with other people that are in need. I think that is a true definition of prosperity when you have love one for another. So leave your comments below what you think about what I've mentioned and give me some definitions on where you feel like, what you feel like prosperity means to you. And um, I can't wait to hear your thoughts. But until next time, y'all remember, Jesus Christ loves you and Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we're dealing with in life. Talk with you later. I love you all. Bye-bye.